Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Welcome back to the vlog, um, my first video of 2018. I hope you all had a lovely uh, Christmas holiday period and enjoyed ringing in the new year. Um, I did have fun but as you might be able to hear from my voice, I got a really bad cold that sort of kicked in the day before New Year's Eve so I sp <laughs> spent New Year's Eve uh, drugged up on Lemsip and um, feeling a bit sorry for myself but I had fun with my family anyway. <laughs> anyway so I thought I would just kick off the um, video this year with um, a little what I got for Christmas video which I know um, sometimes people can think oh that's you're like showing off or bragging I don't mean that um, I actually this year decided my husband and I decided we would just buy our own presents a bit boring I know but it means you get what you want and we don't spend a lot of money on um, Christmas presents especially since we have a two and a half year old so <laughs> money is spent on kids not ourselves and we just actually don't have a lot of money at the moment so only bought a few little pieces but um, they were pretty much all sewing related so I thought I would share them with you um, because I really really love them and I thought some of you guys might like to see what I got and also you might be inspired to pick up a few pieces for yourself as well so I'm not I'm not showing off or anything like that at all and if if you take it that way I'm really sorry I don't mean this at all as I say there's not an awful lot here I mean I didn't get a new sewing machine or overlocker if you did yay <laughs> lucky duck and um, I just got a few little bits and pieces and actually um I didn't go down the fabric route because I have a lot of that already or pattern route because again I have a lot of that um, I was actually planning on buying myself a kit to make the Romana coat from by Hannah London because totally in love with that coat but by the time um, it was time to sort of buy the presents they still hadn't released the fabric or oh, sorry not the fabric sorry they still hadn't released the pattern so I didn't know how much fabric I needed and um, you know I wanted to actually have it all there as like a Christmas present so um, that didn't happen but that would have been a really cool present and that would have been totally it because actually um, now that I've seen the fabric requirements you need a lot of fabric and if you want to make it out of wool that's going to be an expensive coat but coats are expensive and I'm going on a tangent sorry guys I'm really sorry if I cough I'll try my best not to cough during this I'll try and edit it out if I do or sniff likewise and I really hope my sort of coldy voice isn't too annoying <laughs> Um, also, if you're interested, I made this top. It is a um, gable top by uh, Jennifer Lauren Handmade Patterns and actually it's one of my absolute favourite tops. I love it so much. The fabric was from Sew Over It but they don't have it anymore. Sorry guys. Anyway, enough of that admin and chit chat. Let's get down to the um, things I'm going to share with you. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with uh, two little tools that I um, got at Christmas. Um, the first one is absolutely adorable, if you could see. I'll do close-ups as well, but these are the teeniest, tiniest little scissors ever in like sort of gunmetal black from Merchant Mills. I actually picked it up from a... Um, online sewing shop that wasn't Merchant & Mills um, because the, the the shipping was better. If you buy stuff directly from Merchant & Mills it costs about £5 to post and these only cost £6 so I wasn't going to do that. So I actually found somewhere that had free postage. But guys, I didn't open this up. It comes in a really cute little um, cardboard envelope, not cardboard, yeah, like brown paper envelope. Looks, I mean, their packaging is to die for. Their whole branding is just really lovely. And I mean, it does call these like sh super sharp and I was going to be hanging them around my neck because um, I like to keep my snips around my neck for convenience. Guys, they don't cut at all. They are blunt as anything. So I'm going to have to send them back. Um, 
I don't like doing stuff like that, but at the same time, they're not fit for purpose at all. So has anyone else ever bought these scissors? And have you discovered that for yourself? Um, I'll, I'll let you know how I get on. I really don't like complaining or sending things back, so I'm not looking forward to doing it, and that's why I haven't done it yet, because well, I just hate doing that kind of thing. Anyway, they're adorable though, aren't they? Just so adorable. So I hope I can get a, a replacement pair and, and wear them because just so cute. Anyway, that was a bit of a miss. Hopefully will be a hit when I get it sorted. Okay, the only other sort of tool um, or useful thing that I got uh, sewing related wise was a pair of um, duckbill scissors. Um, that's one of the terms for these scissors. And if you've never seen these before, they're also called applique scissors, I think. Um, and they've got this really long, big, flat, semicircular um, blade and then a normal scissor blade. And they are bent, severely bent as well. And they are for grading seams. And apparently you can get right in to um, underneath the top layer of say two, two pieces of fabric that have been sewn together to make a seam, you can sort of get in there and not fear about cutting the fabric underneath, which is what I'm always terrified of doing when you're grading seams or trying to cut down the seam allowances a little bit and make them um, neater and um, make things you know smoother and lie flatter. I'm always terrified of doing all that hard work and then snipping your fabric and ruining it all. So I have heard that these scissors are um, a good way of doing that. I just picked these up on Amazon. I think they were about £11, but you can go, you know, I was really tempted to get a pair of um, sort of almost designer ones, you know, since they were a Christmas present, but I was buying other things and, you know, um, I didn't want to spend tons and tons of money. So I hope that these will do the job. They got good reviews on Amazon, so I am um, confident that they will be okay. And it just says on it, prestige, stainless steel, so. Do any of you have a pair of duckbill or a pique scissors and what do you think of them? Are they good? Okay, so um, I just have four more things to share with you. It's just gonna be a quick little video today. Um, but they are all frivolous um, presents to myself. Um, all sewing related and jewellery. I didn't have any sewing related jewellery until uh, this Christmas and um, I just really fancied it. I've been seeing a few things popping up on my Instagram feed or just on Pinterest or wherever and I was really um, coveting it so um, I just decided to treat myself this Christmas. So now I have lots of nice um, sewing related jewellery to wear. So let's see, where am I going to start off? I'll start off with these, quite OTT. It's not going to be to everyone's taste, but I really love them. I haven't worn any of this jewellery yet, guys. I've been waiting for this video. So the first one I picked up is from Becky Queen of Frocks, and it comes in this adorable um, box. It's just so cute. Um, she has an Etsy uh, shop, I think it is. And it's these really cool, enormous <laughs> wooden shears. It's a necklace. And um, yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty big. It'll sit like that. But I just really, really love them. They're just so quirky. And, you know, I, I like kind of big, bold jewelry. I say that, but I have jewelry here that's not as big and as bold, but, um, I like, I have an eclectic um, taste in jewellery, put it that way. So yeah, I really like these. I'll move them up a bit here, you can see. Um, yeah. So, but I'll do, I'll say again, I'll do a close up and you can see it properly as well. Really love that. It's wooden with a little bit of laser um, engraving on it for the details. So there's that one. Okay, so uh, next I picked up a couple of pieces from the Sewalicious website. Um, they have done a um, 
collaboration with Jazzy Menagerie and they've designed a range of sewing themed um, necklaces and brooches as well I think and maybe a couple of other different things like that and they were having a bit of a sale just before Christmas so I picked up two things from them um, at a reduced price and I'm so thrilled with them so as I say it's not all big and OTT I picked up the this small um, pair of scissors it's also wooden um, but it's sort of got a gold sparkle to it as well and it's on a really delicate gold chain which I actually love like you don't really get to appreciate that on the online website um, but I really love that delicate chain I mean I'm assuming it's not real gold obviously guys because um, these it, these are not expensive uh, pieces of jewellery um, but I just thought that's sort of a little bit more subtle and um, you know you wear every day and get away with that Okay, so the second piece that I picked up from Sewalicious was this uh, tape measure necklace. Again, a bit more OTT, um, like the first necklace, but I just really loved it. It's just a little bit quirky and different. They do it in like a turquoise colour, a yellow, and then also this pink, and I decided that the pink would probably go with more things in my wardrobe, so I went with that and it's just really cute I love it it's just it's just a bit of fun you know and um, they all come in these little pink mesh bags and with sort of wrapped around a bit of info card as well so they're really nicely presented so I would definitely recommend those all the links for all these different things I will be putting in the description box uh, down below the video so do check them out if you're keen on getting any of the things um, I can't recommend them all enough apart from those first scissors and then the last thing that I picked up for myself were the, the most expensive thing that I um, bought this Christmas um, but I decided to treat myself I've had my eye on them for quite a long time and I just really really wanted them um, so I decided to treat myself and they come in this little box here by Charlotte Bezant. I hope I've said that right. Um, she is a jewellery designer from London and I've seen her work on Instagram and um, checked out her website and all as well. And I went for a pair of sterling silver um, button earrings. So again, you'll see a close up when I've got earrings in, but yeah, really love them. She does a few different types. These are the largest ones she um, makes, but she does smaller ones, the ones with two buttonholes. Um, yeah, and these have four holes in the buttons. So I just, yeah, I really like those. Actually, I have a pair of um, plastic button earrings that are gold color, but they're, they're plastic. And I love wearing them. Um, and I have always thought to myself I'd really like to get a pair of you know really good quality button earrings because it's just like a little subtle nod to dressmaking and I love it. Um, so when I saw these they're almost identical to the ones that I currently have except they're silver rather than gold because I can't afford gold pair. Um, but yeah, I love them and I wear silver loads, so I will probably be living in these earrings and did I say I love them? I think I said I love them. <laughs> so anyway, there you go guys. That's um, what I picked up for myself for Christmas from my husband, <laughs> but bought by me. Um, did you guys get any sewing related goodies for Christmas? I'm sure you did. Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Um, what you got and maybe drool over some of your lovely fabrics and patterns and um, paraphernalia that you um, managed to get. I will be hopefully now filming a um, sew with me um, nap time sewing tutorial. I'm going to make the toaster sweater um, by Sew House 7. That's going to be the next on my list. It's already cut out so I just need to sew it up um, and I'm hoping to get that done today and it'll be up it'll be up shortly another video I plan on doing is a bit of a 
um, how to set up your workspace for efficient sewing. I need to think of a, a better uh, title for that. It doesn't really roll off the tip of your tongue, but um, I have a few sort of tips and suggestions that I thought might be interesting and you might like to hear. And, but anyway, thanks so much for watching me today, guys. And um, leave any of your comments down below. Please do subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be notified when those other videos go live later in the month. And I hope you guys are all having a lovely start to 2018. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.